So this is the last lecture of this chapter and in this chapter I want to cover two things up and then wrap this chapter up. The first thing which we're going to cover up in this chapter is the color of the sky. Color of the sky. So basically color of the sky that is how the sky appears to be blue or the sky appears to be red at certain occasions we're going to study all of that right. So basically when we have the sun right let's have a look with the diagram so if I have the sun here okay basically and uh, this is my observer so suppose my observer stands here okay so this is my observer and this is the sun so finally what happens what is ha what happens actually the light rays are going to come and they're going to enter into the eyes of the observer so again it is going to enter into the eyes of the observer right now what happens when light passes through the layers of the atmosphere right what light uh, is it it's white light right it's sunlight so it is basically white light so it can be dispersed into seven constituent colors or it is composed of seven constituent colors right now when it is going through the layers of the atmosphere okay when the sunlight goes through the layers of the atmosphere okay atmospheric scattering of light will take place right it is going to absorb the light and then scatter it so which colors get scattered the most violet and blue get scattered the most violet and blue get scattered the most these two colors get scattered the most okay these two colors are going to be scattered the most because obviously i've explained the reasons they have the lowest wavelengths okay and because of the presence of the lowest wavelength they're going to be bent uh, or scattered the most by any dispersive feature or during any scattering process so these two colors are going to be scattered the most because of the least wavelength and red gets scattered least So blue and violet are going to be scattered most, right? But do we see a mixture of violet or blue in the sky? No, we only see blue. So why is it that we see that the sky is blue? When it gets scattered, okay, violet and blue colors enter our eyes the most, obviously. Violet and blue colors enter our eyes the most. So these two colors are going to enter the most, right? So red gets scattered least, violet and blue are going to be scattered abundantly, okay? So violet and blue, so violet and blue will be scattered most, whereas your red will be scattered least. Okay, just two, okay, so red. Still, this light ray is mainly red. Right? So, violet and blue get scattered the most and ultimately it is the blue light which is going to enter the eye. Okay, And ultimately when you see, violet and blue enter our eyes the most. So, when violet and blue enter our eyes the most, our eyes are sensitive to blue light. So, our eyes are more sensitive to blue light okay so out of blue and violet which gets scattered the most our eyes are more sensitive to blue light hence they interpret mainly the blue light and because of this what implies the color of the sky appears to be blue Right? And this is all because of what? The atmospheric scattering of light. If you go in space, there is no atmosphere. So there is no scattering of light, no atmospheric scattering. And hence, the sky appears to be dark. But here, we have a colorful world, all because of the scattering of light by the atmosphere. Okay? So this is how we see the color of the sky as blue. Okay? Now we come to the last topic of this chapter and that is the color of the sun. 
Now, if you look at the color of the sun, right, there are two different cases you see. One case is that when the sun is at the horizon, very close to the horizon, that's just when it's about to sun, when, when it's about to rise or when it's about to set down. So either sunrise or sunset. During sunrise or sunset, you will see that the sun appears reddish. Okay. Whereas if you look at it, uh, look at the sun during noon time, that time you will see it's completely white, almost white. Okay. Why is there, why is there such a phenomenon? So during sunrise, so suppose during sunrise and sunset, during sunrise and sunset, what happens? During sunrise and sunset, the sun is far away from us. Okay. At these points, it is very far away from us. The sun is very, very far away from us, right? So when it comes to us, right? When sunlight comes to us, okay, when sunlight comes to us, most of the blue and violet light gets scattered on the way. So most of the blue and violet light get scattered so most of these two colors get scattered on the way right they're going to be scattered most of them okay and which one of the uh, colors is left which gets scattered least your red color so red gets scattered least right so red gets scattered the least so sunrise and sunset, sun is far away from us. So when sunlight comes to us, most of the blue and white light, violet light gets scattered on the way. And when it reaches us, only red gets scattered the least. And when it reaches us, the sunlight is mainly composed of red color because it has been scattered the least. So in this process, if you look at this, when it reaches our eyes here, it is mainly composed of red color. So when it reaches to our eyes here, we see that the sun appears to be red in color right so that is how we see a red color of the sun during sunrise and sunset now we come to the noon time so at noon so if we consider the noon time so at noon what happens at noon the sun is at a sun is very close to us right the sun is very close and you can make this out because obviously there is a perpendicular di distance during this time, right? And you know that perpendicular distances are always the shortest distances, right? So there is a perpendicular distance and since there is a perpendicular distance, it is the shortest distance. So it is very, very close to us. So at this time, the sun is very close to us and less blue light or you can say not even blue light, less light gets scattered less light gets scattered. So the scattering of the light is pretty much very, very less. Very less light gets scattered. Okay, not much light gets scattered. Okay, so since not much light gets scattered, more or less the light reaching us is white only, right? Most of the light reaching us is pretty much less scattered and hence it is pretty much a mix of the colors, right? So when it reaches our eyes, we see that the sun more or less appears to be white only. Sun appears white. Right? It pretty much appears white only because not much of the light has been scattered and hence it's, it seems that almost no spectrum has been created, not much scattering has taken place. So when it reaches our eyes, it more or less is the same white light and hence we see the sun to be white in color. Okay, so that is the color of the sun at sunrise and at sunset and at the new time right and with this we are done with the chapter human eye and the colorful world i hope you were clear with everything i taught and uh, this is an important chapter in your physics portion so please be clear with it any kinds of doubt are uh, welcome in the comment section below uh, i wish you all the best for your board examinations goodbye stay healthy stay smart and do keep studying bye bye